Well, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of my Anno 1800 Let's Play. This will be episode 9, and I'd like to start out by going ahead and saying thank you for um, the people that have commented on my videos so far, and I would like to say that uh, I'm going to try my best to go ahead and get my trade unions in to increase some productivity. Um, the only problem is, is I need to acquire these items, so what I'm going to do I'm going to send this clipper down to uh, Isabel's place and kind of just camp out for these items. She does have some right now. She has a uh, sugar cane pro uh, fertility. Um, we have a harbor master's office repair radius. That'll be really helpful. Um, and then we have uh, rubber fertility. So what I want to do is probably just get productivity increasing uh, items. To help a little uh, help us further along our production on our new world islands but first of all what i'd like to do is go to the old world and i know that this uh this island right here of roanoke will be producing my concrete for me so i'm going uh let's see i have a i have a trade ship here that's sending it over to my main island so it looks like I do have actually quite a bit of cement already. Um, and I'm making 47 reinforced concrete, so I think it'll be time to start making uh, making my oil. My oil set up here for power. And the thing I want to do is, is I, I've been thinking about this, is I want to put all of my significant production that can be fueled by electricity on this side. Um, and then just try to kind of maneuver it around a bit so that you know not none of my uh none of my shoreline buildings here get in the way of it so everything can be all of the like artisan level production buildings well most of them and then the engineer and the inventors investors production buildings can all be powered by electricity and i believe it doubles their productivity um so that being said i would kind of like to put my canneries over there my glass makers, I don't really care as much. I don't, I don't need crazy, my crazy amounts of windows, um, at least for now. So I think the first thing I should do is start to. Uh, I'd like to start to make my, um, my oil refineries. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of pollution here. Um, so they're producing oil right now. I've made them both, and. Um, Let's see if I can make the, uh, so I need five more bricks for my oil harbor. And then with that, I'll be able to store, actually be able to store the oil that I'm producing here. But I have uh, set, or let's see, seven, yeah, seven uh, oil springs here. So that'll be enough to at least power, power the uh, power plant here. So what I'd like to do is get some more artisans going, some more workers. And, oh, we have some sickness going on. Let's see if I can make a hospital here. Nope, I need bricks. So where is my... Yeah, my uh, clipper is already here. Um, let's see what items I have first here. Let's see, cocoa fertility, productivity plus 10%. Not too bad. Um, Let's let's uh, get some bricks going up here, and have it sent down to my town here in Macedonia. The hospital will need to go in. I'll probably put it in right here. But I'm a little uh, I'm a little worried that I don't have any bricks at the moment. Um, oh, I don't have two brick makers going. Now I do. So let's put the bridge. Okay, I can put it here. Well, I need two bridges. Yeah, it's, and I'm gonna I'm going to need a lot of bridge for this, unfortunately. Yeah, I I don't like having lots of uh, lots of rivers, but what can I do? Oh, 
Okay, so I think uh, there. That'll work, and now I'm producing... Um, there's a warehouse here. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. <clears throat> the clay pit is actually a little too far from... Well, it's not too far, it's too close. So I need to have it maybe like right there. There we go. Perfect. So now I'll be getting double the brick income. And I think what I want to do is with the Hornoleros put some more right here. Maybe even upgrade a few more so I can make up for the loss that I'm getting from the virus or from the, um, the illness here. So now that that's going okay. I do need more rum. I need rum here. But the fertility actually. Okay, so I don't have fertility here. Let me re-roll it. Bombin Weaver. Okay, so I don't I don't have any um fertility here. My clipper will be up there with some bricks, but I think I'll, I'll probably wind up just making the bricks myself. Um for the hospital before I can even be able to actually transfer them from my main island here. Photography quest. I like doing these small little quests because at this point it's not really for the money, it's for like the possible items I can get. And she might give me a decent item here. Oh yeah, actually. Income per house. Oh, the income per house is actually reduced a bit. Yeah, income per house is reduced by 15%. Chance of fire is down too. I'm not too worried about fires right now, though, so that's not something that I'm going to really pursue. Um, the virus is continuing to spread. I'm at 15 bricks, so all I need is uh, five more here. And I'll be able to go ahead and make the hospital. Um... I would like to make the tobacco tobacco plantation. So it takes two minutes. This takes 30 seconds. So I need what? Um, I need four tobacco plantations to keep that busy. Let's keep a uh, blueprint mode on though. So the cigar factory can go there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just going to um, just kind of line them up. Put the cigar factory here. Put the tobacco plantation here. That's quite... That's uh, quite a lot of modules, though. 192. Wow. That's okay. I'm going to uh, kind of fill this area out anyway with them. I wonder if I would actually prefer something else. Yeah, let's do another setup here. I thought I would just line it up, but I was thinking about it and I thought I can put I can put the warehouse here. What do we have here? Permission to settle on Palrez, huh? Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know why they ask me for permission. I know the like the higher star ones don't. Especially if they're not allied with you. But um, so we have, oh, we can go ahead and make the uh, hospital. So that is well on its way to training the doctors here. Yeah, training doctors and nurses, so we're going. Um, I think I would like to put the tobacco plantations, actually. Probably just right like that. But I don't see the problem is is 
they require an awful lot of modules. Actually, I can put this one here without much issue. Then this one, let's see what I can do here. That's 192 there. That's actually really good. So I have two there and I want to go ahead and do four. So what I can do is make, put a road here. So I make sure I can get my supplies here. And I think what I'll do is, I think I can put it here. Yeah, I'll put the modules kind of like this. Okay. That actually works, that works really well. So I've got four. Okay, there they are. And then I want to do a marker tree workshop. So that can go That can go here. Then maybe I can put a put a fire station real quick here. Actually, I'll put it here in case I'm going to blueprint a trade union here so that can possibly affect my cigars and all that. So, it looks like the uh the pan the uh Illness here is being slowed down. I'm going, to, I'm going to mobilize some more. Um, the coffee roaster is right there. I wonder if I have a extra supply of coffee beans. Maybe I have. Yeah, I do have a surplus of coffee beans. Because um, I forgot to construct this coffee roaster here. So let's go ahead and get some more Oberos in here. There we go. Now we need some more Hornoleros. So I can put them here. There we go. I may have reduced uh, the the productivity or the harvestable area of the uh, of the lumberjack hut here. It's down to 98 now, but that's that's not a big deal. This one's 87. Um, yeah, this one's 82. So I think I'll actually probably need to make a few more. Okay. Yeah, I'll need to make a few more lumberjack huts to make up for the demand that's going to be used on the um, the market, the marketry uh, stuff here. So I think I'm going to put a, do it right here. Put a warehouse maybe right here. And then I can make sure that my um, that my sawmills are working all the time, and then I'll also have extra logs. I'll go ahead and upgrade these, get them working. Okay, and I want to put one more in here. I think he can go right there. Perfect. There now I'll have uh, should have plenty of logs now for that. 
Um, let's see. We need the Hernaleros. Okay, they do need rum. And then I also need the uh, boxing arena here, which I will blueprint here. Oh, I have 24 bricks anyway, so that's that's going to be pretty pretty close. That's going to be pretty close to happening. And since I have two uh, two clay deposits, I'm going to uh, be able to be making bricks pretty quick. However, I think that I should just load this one up, load up this clipper, and send it here. Let's let's edit the paper here. Um, actually, you know what? I don't need to. Let's just um. Let's just publish it. I'd rather have my. I, I don't want to lose. Um, I don't want to lose uh, diplomacy with the uh, with Benta and Princess Xing. So I'll let that sit for a minute. Um, let's make some more Hornaleros though. I I don't want to. Maybe I could fit some more here actually. I can put it, yeah, I'll put a few right here. Put a few there. And then I can also probably put some right here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, then upgrade those. Now I have some extra ones. This will be my big population or my big uh, tobacco production area. It is pretty huge, actually. Surprised at that. And then I can put a massive uh, population area here. But I'm already, I'm already well on my way to um, to having a big uh, tobacco plantation here going. So let's go ahead and build some of this up. Okay, get some of the tobacco going. And then put a a bridge here maybe. Um Yeah, let's uh let's bring this road up here. Of course that costs twenty timber. And then bring the road probably to about here and then now I can start making more uh, hornaleros. And I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put the population uh, center probably situated vertically here. Maybe like that just so I get the most out of my buildings, like always. And of course I need to have, make sure I have room for their basic needs too, because the basic needs will also skyrocket once I make these, but I don't need to, I don't need to focus on too much of this. Um, like I don't need to make tons and tons more hornaleros simply because like the work I don't want to have way more of a workforce than I actually need because that would just be kind of a waste of uh, a waste of money producing for all the needs if they're just gonna sit around. So let's have that and the um, the fire station. Okay, looking good. Let's go ahead and make. More tobacco plant. Oh, I need uh, timber here. Okay. That will be fine. And I'm already getting uh, tobacco. And look at the uh, look at the fields here. I love the detail they put into this game. It's really amazing. All right, so I've got the coffee production going, brick factory. Everything's looking good here. Now here, I'm looking for... The cotton fabric production and the rum. Okay, both both are actually doing great. Um, the coffee is doing great. So all I really need to do now is make sure the old world is going nicely. 
Um, and I have enough materials here to to make my first uh, train train station here, basically. So it looks like the oil will be delivered. Yeah, the oil will be delivered on this train, and then that will in turn deliver to my electricity. I don't know how much oil I've actually stored up, but it's probably a decent amount. So, okay, um, what do we need? Oh, I actually need more farmers here. So it looks like I, I have a lot here already, but I think what I can do is put some here. If I situate my market like this, put another pub here. Then just put the farmers kind of line them up. Okay. That'll be good. Line them up like that, and then I can use all my extra bricks to line these roads. But of course, I need to make sure that my um, that my needs are being met because that's going to put a lot of demand on my production. All right, so I need more fish and schnapps, and to be safe, workers' clothes and soap. So let's go ahead and put more fish right here. Hopefully, I can fit it. Hey, I can. Very nice. All right, so the train's taking the oil to the power plant. Perfect. All right, let's uh, get that fish going. Now I need some workers' clothes. Work clothes, I should say. Um, and put those. I think what I'm going to do is make a new industrial area, kind of, or a new uh, production area, kind of over here. But what do what do I have here? That's oh, this is a hunter's cabin. That's why it's. I don't think it'll affect it too much. But just putting a road there. Okay, so I'll put a road all the way out to here. What I want to do is go ahead and start putting framework knitters, you know, soap, stuff like that. Just putting it right here. Put one there, and then go ahead and put one here. and put a small warehouse right here. Okay, sounds good. We've got that going. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, we're going to need more canned goods here pretty soon. And looks like also, yeah, soap, of, of course. So let's get some soap going. Um, let's get the pig farms. I think I can, I think I'll be able to line these up pretty nicely with everything else. So the pig farm can go there. And five is the module limit, so let's put another pig farm here. Okay, I've got two down. All right, there's two. Let's put some there, and then I'll put a soap, 
soap production right there. Looks like we're we're doing we're doing well on that now. So I can go ahead and make these. All right, so soap will be doing well. Um, let's upgrade some stuff here. Get some more workers. Okay, now what else do we need? Looks like we're we're running pretty well. Wait, we have a huge surplus of uh, sausages here. I don't think we need all that. No, uh, I have I have done something wrong here. <laughs> Um, let's stop the framework knitters for now. I don't know what happened to my numbers. Supply is way, way, way larger. Um, let's stop some of the sausages too. So where are all my slaughterhouses at? There's one here. probably stop this one too. And then I should probably stop some of the framework knitters. I know I have some more over here. Oh, that's why. It's because the electricity is all of a sudden making them making them way way more productive. Okay. That's what happened. So, framework knitters, I need to stop a few more. Um Maybe stop some of the slaughterhouse. Sheep farm. Okay. I think now I should be doing okay. Yeah, yeah. Demand is lining up a little bit better now. So I would like to start the... Um, so the sewing machine factory is doing really well. Bicycle factory. Let's see if I can actually have the materials for that right now. Um, yeah, so I have rubber and the... Um, furnace to do this so let's put that right there the warehouse is perfectly situated there so bicycles will be will start to be being made um, let's put this factory here build the road and then I think what I can do is go ahead and build this warehouse the warehouses are kind of an awkward size because it's like them being like a five, yeah, five by five is weird because a lot of buildings are actually like, you know, four by six. So if you want to line up the roads just right, it's a little, it's a little weird. That's all right though. So maybe I'd like to put the cannery situated somewhere else too. Then I can probably use this area for, for more population, I think. So I should probably put artisanal kitchens yeah, I'm gonna put these over here and next time when I'm planning for my next uh, playthrough I should plan for where the oil is and where I need to be situating all my um, all my buildings that will be using electricity so I can more efficiently uh, make things once I actually get my oil going so the cannery will be going here Okay. Okay, so that looks that looks pretty good. I want to build a road here. Of course, my oil refinery is kind of in the way there, but that's okay. Uh, I need bricks, and then I'll be able to make the spectacle factory. But let's check production now. Um, everything's moving a lot smoother here. So my production is doing pretty good now for canned goods. Um, sewing machines is doing well. I have a surplus. Um, the fur coats, though, I should probably be making more of those. So let's check out the uh, fur situation here. And looks like the fur is doing... Um, we have kind of a... Well, we have 33 of those. And we have cotton fabric is doing well. Um, but we don't really have a surplus of fur coats, so I think I, I want to build another fur dealer. 
but I I'd like them to be ideally. I think here would be a good spot actually, because they have good access to a. Let's see, let's put a road here. They have good access to a warehouse, so. And bricks are kind of an issue here right now. I wonder if I have. Uh, yeah, I have a lot more here, but this one only has one. One brick maker. This has two. Okay, so this one has a lot more bricks. I think what I want to do is. Um, well, let's bring my flagship up here and get rid of that rum first. I think this ship has, yeah, this ship has rum on it too. And so does this ship. So let's bring them kind of up here. And let's check the uh, traders, see what kind of items they've got. We've got potato fertility, pepper fertility. Um, nothing really exciting at the moment. Let's check um, Eli Bleakworth here. Charcoal kiln. The charcoal kiln sometimes produces rubber. That's really, that's interesting. I do like that. Maybe I can snag that one. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to bring a ship up there and grab that. I should probably, I wonder if I have any idle. I don't, oh yeah, I have an idle clipper here. So let's bring him up there and grab that item. I don't have any charcoal kilns on my, actually, I think I might. Yeah, I have them right here. So I could put a trade union right here and have them uh, sometimes generate rubber for me, which would be actually amazing. So I have uh, extras up here, extra sausage and soap ready for the production. Sorry, sorry if you guys hear that, but my dog is behind me and he keeps licking himself and it's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little loud and annoying. I keep trying to touch him to make him stop, but he just keeps doing it, so... I apologize if you hear that. His name is Roger, by the way. Um, so this is doing... Uh, everything's going well here, actually. Electricity is going nicely. Um, what what am I missing here? Oh, I'm missing uh, fur coats, unfortunately. I think my rum is still doing well. Yeah, rum is being delivered nicely. But I did notice that I am like kind of running out of... Especially when I make that new uh, fur dealer. I will need more hunting cabins, so I think I'll put those, put one there. Then he can deliver to the um, warehouse there, should be no problem. Oh, I accidentally made uh, an extra road. want that to be a brick road. Let's put another fur dealer. Sorry, hunting cabin. Probably... No, not there. It interferes with other... There, I can put that one there. I think fur gathers a little slowly or something. Yeah, let's check... Uh, how quickly does fur gather? Oh, just one minute. Yeah, but a fur but a fur dealer uses that pretty quickly. So, oh, what do we have here? My clipper is under attack. I can I can fix that. My ship of the line is uh, picking that picking up on that. So, um, let's go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff I have in here. Get rid of the rum. Get rid of the pirate hat. Get rid of this stuff too. Oh, I have a uh, expert planter here. Grain farm, red pepper farm, and vineyard productivity. Wow, that's really nice. Nope, let's get him right there. I'll bring my flagship here. I actually want to bring the flagship down to this harbor to grab some bricks. Um, let's go ahead and check out this guy too. The bruiser, harbor activity 10%. Okay. Well, I actually would like to uh, build a harbor master's office, actually. So I think that'll be under the worker tier. Yeah, harbor master's office. So I put this in, and it increases the activity of everything. So I'll put it in range of of my actual trading post here. So looking good, looking good. I need to build my next fur dealer though. 
to get my artisans going again. I like to build. Oh, the brick won't work on that. Okay, that's fine. Um, but with the, with the brick, I mean, if you notice, if you look up here, I don't know if they do this on dirt roads, but like some of my some of my buildings are actually sending out little trucks for goods, and they move so much faster on the brick. It's actually pretty amazing. But I'm making bicycles, um, and the fur is making ever so slowly. But my uh, my flagship will be here soon, so I can make furs, and then I'll be able to upgrade actually more uh, artisans to engineers. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and grab most of the bricks, 150. I'll send that back up here. So here I will need. Uh, I'm making bread already, but I think I need. Yeah, I'm making a good amount of bread, but I need beer. I need beer here to really uh, take an advantage of the of uh, of the money that I can make. All right, so that'll be enough upgrade to workers there. Let's brick up some more of these roads. Put that there. Looks like I yeah I have quite a few more uh, farmers planned out. I do want this to be kind of another money-making uh, city here instead of just a trading one. But I think I do have uh no, I do not have a ship with uh, hops coming over. So I wonder if I can pick up the uh, item here. Oh, there's one. Effects resistance is happiness. Chance of riots. No, nope, don't like that. There's one that increases the amount of residents. Well, I was too late on the uh, on the other item. That's that's unfortunate. I would have liked to have that. Let's check out the residents here. Farm animals are right there. That one was easy. See if she's giving me a good item. Uh, yeah. So this one. This one is affects fisheries and pearl farm productivity plus fifty percent. Produces extra tallow and gold. That is, that's fantastic. Let me um, bring that over here and put it in the harbor master's office at my main town. I think that will serve me very well. So let's bring this this clipper back. And actually, I want to create a route between. Um, King Cole here, yep. A route between Android and Roanoke. And what I want to do is load hops and unload there. Just everything it's got. There. Then a ship under attack. Which one which one's under attack? My ship's little line will uh will kind of put anyone into place who's going after my stuff, so but my main trade route is right here in this middle area, so I'm gonna I'm going to just let my ships of the line sit there. Um, so it looks like furs are actually going really well. This one's producing at full speed. And once I drop off these bricks from my uh, command ship here, I'll be able to. Where are you at? Okay, going slow as ever. I'll be able to make some more buildings. So what I'm waiting for here is uh, spectacles. Actually, let's go ahead and make that. So my engineers need their spectacles, and I think I already have coffee. I think I already have coffee coming in. Yeah, I do. I have quite a bit, actually. Um, and what are my items here? So the, this one still has the item. Let's uh, Let's bring that item back. Let's see. Equipped in Town Hall, happiness plus seven. And provided needs. That's actually amazing. This one maintenance cost is increased, attractiveness is increased for schools, church, and chapel. Okay. Let's uh, let's bring this item back and put it in the harbor master's office, and then send this uh, send this ship on its way. 
actually, this Harbor Master's office isn't really in range of the fisheries. So I'm going to delete it and make a new one that actually kind of includes. So I've got three of them here. Four of them. Oh, that's perfect, actually. So I'll sometimes get extra resources out of it. Perfect. Maybe put another item in there. Increased harbor activity. Perfect. So it sounds like we have an issue going on somewhere. It sounds like maybe an illness. But I don't see where it's happening. Oh, here. Mobilize another uh, doctor unit there. So I can upgrade some of these artisans. Um, that's looking really good. I think I'll do that actually right now. And I'm actually getting pretty low on artisans. So let's go ahead and upgrade some more here. But I don't have the bricks. Uh, oh, just in time. Here we are. The endeavor is arriving. Okay. Well, now I can send some more. I have 150 bricks here now. Um, that plague, that uh, that plague should be solved pretty soon. Um, I think so. Spectacles. What are we missing? Oh, uh, okay. Yep. That is totally my bad. So we don't actually have. So I need zinc deposits here. Um, and I don't have windows for all of them yet. But the brass smeltery, I have two being ready to get made. Um, Princess Shing wants to settle somewhere. I think that'll be fine, yeah. Because the more, the more she settles somewhere, the less, uh, the less that old barrel can settle on. I'm happy with that. Okay, so brass spectacles is what I need to focus on here. Um, so we need to make a brass smeltery, and we need more windows for that. That'll come pretty soon. Um, but the other thing is we need um, copper. Now I'm building zinc here. I'm building zinc. Let's see. I need uh, I need 10 windows. So let's speed this up a little bit until I can get my windows. Come on. One more. So I can get my zinc production actually up and running. There we go. Okay, so now zinc is running. Um, I need to bring in copper, I think. Okay, so there's a copper here. There's a copper here. So let's make this copper deposit. I need... Oh, I actually need concrete for this. So what's going on here? Oh, just pirates attacking. She's demanding 120,000 uh, for a ceasefire. I'm sorry. She feels threatened or something, so she wants to charge a whole bunch of money for me to not kill her. Got some weapons out of it. Okay, that's nice. Nope. Let's take this one and load up some reinforced concrete so I can actually build a copper mine. Um, okay. Okay. Wait, what am I waiting on? Yeah, I still need windows. Windows are coming in unbelievably so I'm not really a fan of that. Okay, yeah, let's load up um let's load up all the concrete I can and bring it over here. Check out the paper. Let's get some uh <laughs> I can't leave it unedited. I like the uh, I like the sarcasm coming from him, the sassiness. Yeah, and of course, Barrel likes the propaganda, which, and in another playthrough, we will that'll be more preferable. 
But the diplomacy here, so Princess Jing and Benta, they're already high enough relationship with me to the point where I don't really have to worry much about their uh, about their relationship level. Okay, so I should have enough reinforced concrete to build a copper deposit. So I'll build it here. Build a small warehouse right there. And I want I want it to come in as fast as possible, so every little bit helps. So there we go. Um, the copper comes in. Let's see, artisans, engineers. I want to see how fast it is. So it's 30 seconds. Um, so I'm picking up cement from here. So I also want to load copper. I'm just going to drop that off. Um, just let that trade route run. So any copper that's produced here will get just get dropped off at the uh, at the main spot. And then I also need some uh, reinforced concrete here to take advantage of this copper mine. And in later playthroughs, I can see how this will get pretty messy. I really can. So I'm making a surplus of bread here, I believe. Yes. So I'd like to make these grain farms. And then possibly... Yeah, let's put a malt house here. And since I have hops being traded over here, I don't really need to worry about... I don't need to worry too much about... I don't need to worry at all about producing hops here because they're already coming in. So I can just go ahead and make, uh, make two breweries. And then call it good for beer. As soon as the uh, as soon as the malt house um, starts working, um, I don't have a surplus of grain quite yet. So what I want to do is go ahead and make and make myself a surplus of grain because I will I will need that um, in order to really because th this will need to be converted to bread. So. I need to just bite the bullet now and go ahead and make sure I have a nice surplus of grain going or at least just enough so that I can so I can really start making the malt from the malt house. So right here, I'm just going to make a standard just a standard grain field. Just like that. It actually turned out to be exactly 144. Okay. There's two. Then I want to put a road right here, just kind of around it. And then that'll do for now. Um, that'll keep the malt house running. And that'll be enough for the beer. Yeah, because it's just, that's all it is, is waiting on the malt. And that's going to start, actually, the malt is loading in right now. Um, but hey, I want to just uh, say thank you to anyone who's actually watching my series and still watching um, up until this point in the video even. But I wanted to say I appreciate your support, um, and I'd appreciate it as well if, uh, if I could get a like, a comment, a subscription, um, even some constructive criticism would be great because I, I really, really look to improve my channel. And um, I'm hoping that I'm doing okay. I mean, this is a, you know, this is my first Let's Play ever. It's a, it's a newbie, you know, I'm kind of a newbie YouTuber <laughs> starting out. And I just want to, uh, want to make an honest shot at it and, and really, really work hard. So I appreciate anything you've got to uh, help me. And uh, with that, I'd like to say, uh, I'd like to say thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.